My name is Bernhard Müller, I'm the general manager of Genti. Genti is a payments company that was founded in 2020 to save merchants millions and billions of dollars and likewise consumers. Our Genti Frank stablecoin is a Swiss franc stablecoin that is fully backed by Swiss bank guarantee. This means that if we as issuer should for any reason default, that every token holder has a guarantee by Swiss bank that he can get his money back. Uh, the process of creating this stablecoin was a process of nine months, uh, interactions with the regulator, of course the banks, you know, you have to gain the trust, you have to have the right technology. And we mainly did it because we have a need in our payments company for this. 98% of consumers are not ready to use any native cryptocurrency for their payments because Swiss francs, euros, dollars, pounds, these are the media we think in when we make consumer decisions. The Swiss franc was a natural choice for us because we are a Swiss-based company and we believe that things should be started local and humbly and you should try and show things work before you go out in the big wild world and issue other currencies. The Swiss franc is of course very popular because it has a low inflation rate, it's considered very stable. Switzerland is a neutral nation, uh, which means that whenever there is any warfare in the world, uh, people can be pretty sure that Switzerland will not engage that and therefore the currency remains stable. There are a few projects doing Swiss franc stable coins. Some are so-called algorithmic stable coins, which I personally don't consider stable coins. Others are similar in concept, but for example, you use a technology where a transaction would cost you $3.20 or maybe $4 today per transaction, which is really not suitable for payment. So how is our stablecoin different and, and why another stablecoin? First of all, it's backed by a bank guarantee, which most stablecoins lack. Second of all, it's suitable for micropayments, so it's really made for payments and utility and not just arbitrage trading, which is the purpose of most of the other stablecoins. And third of all, it's also direct to consumer, meaning you don't have to go through yet another intermediary or exchange, you can buy it directly from us and you can also return it directly to us, even as a consumer that just holds you know, 100 or 200 francs. The Chenti franc can be used to pay at 125 merchants that we just listed on our website under the consumer section and a section called Shopping with Genti. And this list is growing weekly. Uh, it's curated by us and you can buy toys, electronics, textiles, wine, even up to consulting services and, and many, many more things. The next steps for Genti are to now start marketing our products because we now have all the puzzle pieces we need to serve merchants, to serve consumers and also with the stablecoin have this medium that people think in. We're already generating revenue and now it's all about growing this revenue. We're also exploring additional revenue sources such as a press release we had today about our collaboration with Centbi to do remittance payments from Switzerland to Sub-Saharan Africa. The goal is now to expand the merchant base and also expand, of course, the consumer base, onboard more merchants, make Genti known, first of all, in Switzerland and later in other countries, and, of course, improve our service, listen to the feedback that people have and go from there. But it's really time now to push this to market and uh, we have started. What I think is noteworthy about Genti and the way we handle payments is that we really disintermediate payments. So we are a body helping the merchant or a body helping you as a consumer with our app, but the consumer is always in full control of their money. So we are just the user interface to their wallet. And on the merchant side, they also have their own wallet. And when you pay, it's a direct peer-to-peer -peer payment. Subsequently, we help the merchant exchange this digital money collected for money on the bank account. So he has the same Web2 experience that he's used today from other payment uh, operators, but literally and especially from a regulatory perspective, this is really a cash payment that is happening and that is very new and has a lot of implications. We created Genti for merchants and consumers and basically 
everyone on this planet that uses payments. Genti offers a plethora of products, some geared towards consumers and some geared towards merchants or professionals that want to integrate our products. We're building our stablecoin on the BSV blockchain on a protocol called STAS, which is basically a colored coin that is enforced by Bitcoin Script directly. The reason to choose BSV blockchain is the scalability, the stability, the compliance compatibility, and especially also the certainty that this blockchain has the goal to scale unboundedly, which is very, very important for any scalable business case you want to build on a blockchain. Blockchain is plumbing for us, for consumers and merchants in the daily use, it, it doesn't really matter that much for them. And therefore, this is how I see the future of Chenti with blockchain as well. Blockchain is a tool just as other cloud services providers you would use or other tools you would use in a company to build your business. Key features of Chenti are that it's very easy to use and it's fairly priced. We have top-up services, we have cash collection services on the merchant side, we have remittance payments, we also offer technical integration services and there's a lot more planned in the future.